As part of LFA 2023, we unveiled a series of new benches in the Royal Docks as part of the Fusion Purchase Design Competition with the Royal Docks team. Now in its fourth edition, this series of benches aims to improve London's public realm, celebrate emerging architectural talent, and connect people with the buildings and spaces around them. We caught up with each of the winning designers to find out the stories behind the benches. Here, Jericho and Nicholas tell us about their bench round the neighbourhood. Our team is LVE. The bench's name is Round the Neighbourhood. The concept of our bench is a central spinning seat surrounded by other seats of different heights, sizes and colours, representing different walks of life. Many people commute through oil docks, either to go to school or go towards the DLO station. Many people pass by there. So having our bench placed in that central area, it allows more and more people to come together and talk to each other and get to know one another. One of the key inspirations of our bench is Andrew's bench. Andrew Bong was one of the previous winners, and we wanted to promote the theme of rebirth. Being sustainable is something that's more important as time goes on. So we thought it was a good idea to give Andrew's bench a third life. It used to be scaffolding, now it's an art piece of a bench, and soon it will be reused for our bench. After two years of avoiding social contact, it's about time we light up that social fire by getting to know each other again. One of the key things about Round the Neighbourhood is a spinning central seat. It's meant to promote storytelling. Different seats of different heights refer to different walks of life. So being able to share those stories by going around the neighborhood, that's the thing that we want to try and promote, talking to each other again. Where we're situated is right next to a university. From my own experience, not that many people talk to each other here. So being able to integrate between both uni and college is, well, quite important. Every person has a different story to tell, maybe in a different configuration. We want people to spread around their own experiences and their stories towards each other so they can walk away knowing that they've made a new friend. When choosing the materials, we were trying to think about the sustainability of the bench. So not only did we look for something that was aesthetically pleasing to the public and ourselves, we also chose something that would link to the key ideas of our bench. So for those reasons, we picked OSB board because the strands that were using it were recycled from old timbers. In order to make such large seats, we had to use a bandstool with a sudden configuration that would allow us to make the circumference much easier and have less time spent on finishing it off in order to create it aesthetically pleasing. After we got through cutting all the materials down, for the seats, we had to first prime it using a sustainable Primer, after that was set and cured, we were able to stain the seat separately with the colors being mainly red, orange, blue, and purple. Me and a separate team competed last year. We didn't win, but we ended up taking notes after we lost, coming together and making a new team learning from what we've done, and now all of that hard work paid off. We now have a bench. Coming from somewhere where you don't get as many opportunities as near the rural docks or within LDUTC, it was quite different from what I experienced. So not only did I find it such a nice challenge, but it actually motivated me to kind of get outside of the box I've created. It was very invigorating and very life-changing, basically. If you've enjoyed this conversation and would like to listen to more like this, search for Building Sounds on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find your favourite podcasts.